All right, let's begin. Are you ready? All right, so I should just talk to you about. What you're... Yeah, just, 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 just feel free to talk as much as you like. Try not to give anything away to me. Like, you still remember a competitive game, but <clears throat> you're here to give me tips and hints. Tell me about the matchup. Answer my questions. You know, just, just add some entertainment value to the stream because this isn't a competitive game. I just backherded my own hunts. It worked. Uh, it's just casual. I'm sure Golden Wonder won't mind. Right, I found a 50 wood treasure, therefore I do not need to collect any more wood. I have all of the wood I need for hunting dogs. If I can get that treasure, I found a hunt. Let's go over to the hunt. What I would have done card you had on. What? Out of the market. Build a what? I would have built a TP. Oh, a trading pay. I think your microphone might be cutting out a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I can talk louder. Yeah, or you can change the settings if you want to, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right, I have all the coins. Yeah, I could have gone for a trading post. Uh, good speed, I believe, recommends building a trading post if you start with 200, 200 wood. Yeah, I like it. Um, and then you can add in a market in transition. If you want to talk about that, then go ahead. Um, yeah, basically it just means you have one more shipment when you reach clearing, which is pretty nice. Um, <coughs> and your market doesn't really kick in until later anyway, because if you have few villagers, the market upgrades like give fewer bonus. So. That's true, and the actually. The TP... Yeah, the TP always gives the same bonus, which is actually better early in the game and worse later in the game, or like less effective later in the game. That's Pretty true. much like banks. Because hunting dogs at the moment, I have nine settlers. Let's say I have ten settlers just for mathematics. Yeah, it's, it's worth There's only one, one extra settler hunting dogs would be the equivalent of. But if I had 30 settlers later on in the game, then build a market. Not that I build a market that late, but um, they're then the yeah. equivalent of three. So the later, yeah. Whereas a trading post, yeah, as you're saying, stays the same constantly. Well, yeah, it, it, it drops in value later on, I mean, it gets less important later on, but early on, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, it makes a difference if you have, like, if you can send 4 vil, 700 coins, 700 uh, wood in straight succession, or whether you have to wait a minute in between. It makes a big difference, especially in this matchup, I think. Absolutely. Nice. Now, um... I think what I need to do is identify oh, so whether or not he's going to go up to, if he's going to stay colonial, perhaps go up to the next stage. That is. I don't know, I don't know what you're doing with your herds, but you're wa you you just wasted a thousand food. <laughs> yeah, that I I re I realized it as like inefficient as well. I'm now aging though, thankfully. Uh, just put a veil on the food, man. Not right. <coughs> I lost my scout, but it's okay because I got a second scout. Sort of, sort of okay. It's not really okay. Uh, now I'm gonna get place of mines. Then great did, coats. Did you notice what he's doing? He's built a trading post, so yeah. he's going a uh, fast fortress. But do you also realize what that means for him, like for his population space and stuff? He's gonna have less manners. Uh, do, um, sorry, villages. Yeah. He's, he's, he, he can only have one village right now, which means that if you kill his village, village, um, then he's most likely going to be pop. And if you put on enough pressure, he won't even have any space to like send cards or whatever. So, my advice would be um, just like. Bow pike Russian. Yeah. Knight BR says house. that's a bad idea though to bow pike rush. I still can though. No, I can't. Nah, you, you, it's too oh, late for bow pike. You can rush. also musk, musk rush. What double musk? No one single musk. What um? Single barracks and just kill his house. What's the build order for that? The same as the house of gold. You just make the barracks. All right. Well, I make. I'll build the barracks first, then <coughs> from the stable. Oui, très bien. Chasseur. Oui, oui. Chasseur. Votre chasseur. Chasseur. Right, yeah, if you build it that way backwards, it may not work. 
Masson. But anyway, you you don't you don't Chasson. have to like be very aggressive. Just try to kill his house right. if you can. Masson. Masson. Like that twenty less pop will will be very Très bad. For his, um, Votre you can Masson. you can do like a fifteen musk right. semi attack. Masson. Oh, oui, well, Masson. You're already Chasson. Chasson. Then you can do like Bonjour. ten musk oui. by fast oui. semi attack. Chasson. Yeah. Oui. And you can make TPs with the 700 wood if you want. It's not a bad idea, I'll do that. He also has a very slow age. With, make make with both of them? Um, make both TPs rather? Mm, no, because you made Musk Hus, so you just need can make one. And get the upgrades yeah, on your market. Where am I? How many Musk did I get? Five. Nice. Yeah. So you can make five or ten more. I'm gonna try for <coughs> three pus, I think. Yeah, that's fine. You just need to like put bills in his. You oui, see with that? Oui, I would go straight for his house. Oh shit. Oh no. Well, that's a win for you already. That's basically something that he doesn't want to do ever. Not at that point. Especially since he's now going to lose everything pretty much for free. I'm empowered by you. You're like a pharaoh from Age of Mythology. You're empowering me, making me a better player. I feel like my mic goes crazy. <laughs> well, basically, the way you gotta view this. No, keep, keep, go siege the TC. Siege the tower, the, the village. Uh, the village, yeah. Sorry. Right. And okay. use the calf to raid, not to siege. Good point. You wanna, you wanna slow him down as much as you can right now while you go up for. Where are you going? That's the wrong way. That's true. I missed uh, two two musks. I had the res for it though. I just was on mute. Are you sure? I'm losing a lot of guys right seeing this. This doesn't feel right. But this means. I mean, it's just a few musks. The musks are going to be useless later. This means ten vils in his TC. I mean, even if you don't get it, it doesn't matter. Go for the vils on his wander. Slow his wander down. Right now, what you did is you took one minute off his wonder build time. You stay with your cab near his wonder. That's a good he's point. Gonna, keep, keep he's gonna the cab the A lot slower. Alright, stop making units. Go for the edge. Yeah. Don't waste your cab. Too late for that. I forgot about. No, the keep your musk. You can kill his vill, dude. Village. Yeah, but he's got eight. Shoot, choke a new out. No. Just the thing that pops from his one. I got two hundred wood. What do I do with it? All right, right now, <clears throat> right now you do have to run because he's almost gonna be aged up, and you don't want to get caught by. Don't I want to? I can kill his explorer when it pops back up. All right, you can kill that. But then you gotta run because he's gonna age and he's gonna age with ten or eight eight stirs. I can use here. I lost that last <clears throat> cab unit. Nah, that's not. It's um, not too important. I'm now aging. No. School will jump back right. up. So um, your musk. Switch like, Use your musk to get a tr the 240 XP treasure. See, this is kind of this kind of stuff I wouldn't think of doing. I still have a cab. Did my? He's up to fortress. Okay. So, then what time do they hit up to fortress usually? And I. If he doesn't make it, FF. They are like Spain, they're between 7 minutes and 7.45, depending right. on the build Yeah. Okay. the pressure. And I'm just stacking up resources, yeah? This is fine, I just make Skirm Goon as soon as I hit up and then start... Or do I make... I don't... Yeah, because I'm up now, I'm, I'm up. Yeah, yeah. So you make Skirm, you make Goons, send... and then after you have like 10 or 15 Goons, you go... Uh, eight, eight Skirms first, I'm going to send 8 Skirms. Yeah, that's fine. Masson. All right. If you noticed, you should have noticed at what time he was up. That was nine minutes. It yeah. takes four minutes, more or less, for the cannon to pop out. So you want to hit him with a raid 
in like at the 13 minute mark or you want to like push in at that point and snipe his cannons right oui ramasseur <coughs> bonjour ouais. bûcheron you really need that's bad my scam is still going to the waypoint that I said. Yeah, you're walking. That's not. I lost. Basically, I gave him five scams, and I'm gonna give him my goons as well if I'm not careful. Okay, I see. All right. Yeah. No, you didn't take the treasure. Votre ordre. Très bien. Oui. Votre ordre. Je le ferai. Prêt. Oui. Correct. All right. Put your vills on the mine. Put them back. Put them on the back mine. Yes. There's still one there. We're gonna lose that now for nothing. <coughs> you have idle wheels. Oui, correct. Oui, chasseur. Right. Okay. Right. Now I feel. All right. Just go attack him. Like you're you you you're letting him kill your racks for free. You could have harassed him all the time while you were doing that. Um, and skirms, keep them back. Pop Minuteman right now, use your bills to block the cat. Right. Um, this is so sloppy. This is like. I'm trying to. 20 idols, what the f. You're alright, you're alright. Just put your bills back on the mine. Push him back. If you send. Make goons. Right now. Send two cannons. <coughs> also heard that other bison hunt. And make sure you keep your musk alive. You, you can go put some pressure on now. I don't or like do you have a shipment coming? Got the two falcs are about to pop. All right, then wait for the falcs. I got. I'm floating a lot of resources because I don't have then ranks make to make things. Keep making goons. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm going to add in my barracks again. Um, right. The problem is I have I hate having musks and 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 uh, and dragoons because I I keep them on the same control group which I shouldn't do, and they're very different units even though they are both anti cavalry. It really confuses me. All right, go push out now. Bring your skirms. Don't don't walk your cannon so far forward without anything. You have more goons back at home. Yeah, you're still okay. Fuck, they walked past! I, th right. I wanted them to that stop when they were body blocking <laughs> the cannons, but they just kept going and fucked my life. I don't feel like- I don't feel comfortable. Like, I- I beat China basically twice, even though the first game didn't count. I- I'm gonna resign. I don't like it. No, I, do it I keep- It seems a bit laggy. I don't know. Was it laggy? No, that was just me being a noob. Yeah, now he's just got this big shipment spam, I'm floating all these fucking resources. Fuck this. Oh, we'll go again. So, <coughs> basically yeah. I was doing really well, having siege down that village. You didn't siege down the village, but you did enough damage. Mm. Um, just look at the population. Like, once you hit fortress, you're so far ahead. Um, you should have gotten the village. If you had gotten the village, um, that would have, um, like, really damaged his spam. Yeah. But also, um,. Yeah, you lost some units for free. That shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I lost like five skirms, and then. Mike... But the battle, you could have easily won that battle because, like, he should never have been able to kill your cannons at yeah. that point with the musket melee and the goons there, and then the skirms. You you would have just, with proper micro, you would have wrecked him, and then. What in that last? It was fight? already over, basically. Yeah. So I. I... <coughs> so let's say, let's say we put you into the game instead of me. You, you reckon you could have just destroyed his army and then win the game from there? But since I lost uh, my cannons, I think like so. A but if if I probably if I played against a guy 
of my level, he wouldn't have pushed out at that point because his cannons were also almost there. Yeah. And he had the six consulate must coming and some more units coming, so the battle pl probably would either have been one or two minutes earlier or one or two minutes later. Right. All right, I'm going to go again. Let's jump into another. Um, yeah. I hate having musks and goons. That's just like... I keep all anti-cavalry on control 2. And mm -hmm. when I have musks and goons, like they're not the same unit. They don't work well on the same control group. And I try to get in the habit of putting... Goons to be honest, five, in this case, but... it was good for you to have Musk, but you just needed to like put them in melee. Yeah, and not walk past the cannon once I'd managed to successfully body block <coughs> the cav. Yeah. But the Chinese cav have range, so you didn't like properly body block them. You need to be more upfront. All right, Golden Wonder's gone offline. But that, yeah, that, no, that's you've given me some insight into stuff I wouldn't normally do. Like I wouldn't normally just leave five musks to siege down a village because there'd be no way I bring it down, and I just lose them all to town centre fire. But then you you tell me that you know actually having like forcing him to have ten people in his town centre slows him down, and then I can use a three cav to force his villagers off. They'll age up wonder, so he can't actually age up as quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's a thing that people often do and even I do sometimes you're like so concerned about not losing your units that you don't make the calculation that sometimes like losing a unit is maybe a hundred resources but at the same time like he's losing resources because he's in his TC plus um, like those resources are much more important for him for his FF than it is for you like you're already gathering all the time anyway so if you lose a hundred musk while a uh, hundred resources while you're gathering four hundred resources, yeah. it doesn't matter. But if you're like not gathering and you're losing resources because you're not gathering, that's fucked up. Mm. So if you if you hadn't gotten that house, you probably would have won the game just on the back of that one little thing. All right. Um. It was a bad house placement for him anyway. Shall I it's... build my barracks forward then? Yeah, you could have built it more forward. But um, also maybe you could have stayed with the musketeers to kill his house to suicide on it. But I didn't know exactly how long it would take for him to age. Like, And if if he had popped in like 10 seconds <coughs> or used Minutemen or whatever, you may not have killed the house. So Yeah. <coughs> then... It also could have been something that could have made you lost the, lose the game, so I don't know. I think it was a good decision to back up, but at the same time, perhaps if you had gambled and stayed and could have gotten it, then also it could have paid off. 